Welcome back, YouTube. Here we have you back at it. And today we are working on the S13. Pretty much in the last video, what I was doing was I was just cleaning it up, cleaning it out, painted the roll cage. I got overspray everywhere. I do have acetone. So this video is gonna be me pretty much cleaning up more stuff on the S13. And yes, it will be filmed over a couple days because I'm not gonna clean everything today. It's just little things that I'm trying to clean up as of right now. So I went through my box of shizness, found out that I had this heavy duty engine degreaser. I think it's old, so I don't know if it's gonna work, but oh, I sprayed it all along the frame rail right here. And then all along the cross member down there. Shit stinks, but <laughs> I'm trying to remove the grease. I do have a hose, so I'm gonna see if the hose could get the grease off. Also, what I went ahead and just did was I wire wheeled this side that they tack welded. I didn't even think they welded, they just tack welded some things. As you can see, those circles. And it was all rusty. Went ahead and wire wheeled it, got it clean. And then I just spray painted all over it right here. Also hammered it up a lot more because some of them are coming out. So that might trust your little rubber mounts right there. So now that is all done. I made sure to get in between the cracks as well. That way it doesn't rust inside. Also, I wanted to spray paint all along these edges right here. So that should be done with this side. I got to do the other side. Shout out to Patrick the Star. Still can't believe they did this shit. <laughs> Skids, baby. Yep, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. Only thing is that this side is way worse. They got an accident causing this to be pushed in. Here, as you can see, they were doing a good job. Not really, but it got pushed in here from like a drift accident, I guess that happened. So this side needs to come out just a wee bit. So we gotta pull that out. So let's do that right now. Good thing I have this old jack that doesn't even fucking work anymore. So I have a little pry, pry bar-ish right here. Let's see if this will work. Probably doesn't look like I did much, but what I was doing was this side was meant in a lot. This part was hard to get up, but I was able to pull a lot of this out. Beforehand, I wasn't able to put my hand under there comfortably, 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 whatever. Boy, if you don't but as you can see, like this has a lot more room now. What happened was this was hitting the tire pretty much. So I was pulling this out. That way I could, if I wanted to, I could run bigger wheels. They have a thick spacer on to uh, complement the, the over fenders, but I'm gonna take this spacer off soon. Probably use it for the S14 or I don't know, we'll see. But I was able to pull this out a lot more even though it doesn't look like it. So this is still dinged in, but it doesn't matter because the over fenders are gonna go on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and wire wheel this off the rust and then we're spray painted black. Now that the rust is pretty much gone, there's still some spots with a uh, slight rust on them, but it's not as rusty as it was, which is a good thing. I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint over them. I might hammer it up or try and hammer it up a little bit more. So actually, yeah, I'm gonna hammer this shit up a little bit more. Let me jack this side up. <laughs> I think this has a specific lug nut lock on it. I can't fucking, ugh. Oh, uh, I'm trying to hammer this up. I, I actually got this one up. You get this side. The size of the tacks on them are actually a lot harder to get up, but this little bar right here, honestly, been saving my fucking life. So, I'm thinking about cutting this part off just with a wire one and hammering it up, but I can't get the freaking wheel off because I think it has a specific locking key that I need. I wasn't given it, so this is the best it's gonna be right now. Gotta rock the Patrick wheels. Let's see how it looks with it down. 
so yeah there's gonna be enough clearance for the wheel i guess it's a little bit tight right there just slightly but i can slide my fingers across it and you can see there's room for the wheel as well as long as two fingers could fit then i think i should be chilling I mean, the coilovers are pretty freaking low. It might not seem like it, but yeah, I think as of right now, this will do because I can't take the tire off. So I'm just spray painting over this right now. No matter how it looks, as long as you get full coverage. But so I got coverage inside as well. So that side is done. Other side is, this side is a lot better in terms of accident wise. It's like very minor dents. I believe they just had a huge accident over there when they were drifting. All right, so both sides are done. One of the things I'm doing is going to be trying to wash the, <laughs> I'm gonna to try to see how well this degreaser works. I'm gonna to try to wash the stuff. I left it on just to break it down. Break it down, break it down. Ghetto rig right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the water hose and spray down. But there is a drawback, drawback. Even though I got this chassis for super cheap, there is a drawback, not necessarily the damage in the rear. That's gonna be covered up by the open fender. This chassis is straight. The only thing is this side is pushed in slightly. As you can see, I think this is the sway bar. If I come to the sway bar, it's kind of, if my hand was the same thing as the bar, it's kind of tilted this way. So going to the right. As you can see, if I turn the camera, it's kind of going this way. But I'm guessing happened is that they hit this side, causing them to spin out and hit this side because also when this was given to me, they gave me a new quarter glass, quarter glass. So this side is all dented, damage right here, the lights sticking out. So I think that they hit something, boom, probably a wall, hit the wall again, causing this window to break. This door is also off of alignment. I don't think the door is off of alignment. I think that because the front is slightly twisted in this way, it's causing the fender to hit the door, if that makes sense. So when you open the door, it hits the fender, so. There's this, this is like pinched right here, which leads me to believe this side is hit. There's all this weird welding. I think they welded a new strut tower in or something because this welding isn't like that side over there. And also one last thing that's pretty big is the middle is coming off right here. If I went down and you look underneath, you see behind the wheel, damn it. You can't really see behind the wheel. But if I were to come to this side, as you can see the stretch tower looks like it was welded in or something. And then this is all, this side is all crashed in right here on this side. All these welds and stuff. So, I believe that side definitely got pinched in and it's twisted a little bit, but I mean, it is a slight drawback. The quote unquote chassis or the frame is straight when it actually is slightly off. So what I was planning to do was I really wanted to get just a new radiator support because this one's all screwed up. I put the light on, I bolted it down and when I, oh, and I bolted the hood down as well. This is how much damage is on the radiator support. So yeah, this isn't a drawback right here. The radiator support is all fucked up, but that's like a normal S chassis. The only drawback is that this side is slightly pinched in going that way. But anyways, what I was planning to do is, there's a video with more skids and a shout it out this one dude. I forgot the name of the company and the brand, but they do a bolt-in tube front. So what I was planning to do was cutting all this out from here. Same thing on that side, you know, cutting the whole front off and then doing the tube front. The only thing with that is that this side behind the strut tower will still need to be pushed out slightly, like very slightly. And then everything that's bent in right here, all that would need to be pretty much banged back in and welded, if that makes sense. That's the only drawback for the chassis as of right now. It just needs a tube front and then this side needs to be banged out and then re-welded, which probably doesn't seem like a lot of work, but it's a lot of work for me, especially because I don't have tools and money. <laughs> So other than this light being damaged right here, I don't really care for the quarter panel damage because you know the over fenders will cover it, but it's just this damage right here that needs to be fixed. And then the front, I just need to clean everything up, put everything back in 
already came with a roll cage for 700 bucks you can't argue you know what i mean so so unlike the s14 where i was able to get stuff within a couple months this chassis if i do continue to build this this is going to take a while this one's going to be a true true project car so i don't know what to drop into it sr ka k series i know a lot of people would do like jz's and ls's but i don't have the money for that they already had an sr in here so it has the wiring but i don't trust the wiring but the best option would be either ka or sr because you know it already has the same mounts pretty much the same everything for the s chassis other than that k series would be pretty dope too enough talking just updating you guys on the 240 let's go ahead and spray this down see if it works if not i'm gonna give up for today <laughs> i know it ain't no pressure washer but this thing do got a jet mode so we gonna hit that real quick that's center mode and this one is jet mode let's see oh oh this is about to do some damage oh it actually works holy shit oh shit oh snap it's getting hell of the grease off what the i actually didn't think it was gonna work oh i'm so happy look at that you see that coming off right there baby hey boy all right let me go ahead and hello I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off and then I'll update you guys on what it looks like. It's getting most of it off, not all of it off, but most of it off, making me happy. So, catching bit. All right, look how well that cleaned up. I mean, this is all greasy and it came all off. I didn't spray any grease remover over here, but I need to. So I'm gonna clean this up a little bit more, but I'll catch you guys up in a couple more days on what else we're gonna do on S13. I might start putting the interior back in or cleaning the interior. I don't know. We'll see. But I'll catch you guys up in a couple days. All right. Huh. That looks so sad. <laughs> got soapy water. I got my scotch pad. I also got this window clear that I've had. Some spray paint just in case for rust. But it is gold, which I kind of don't want to use. Pretty much what I'm going to do is get it scrubbing. These things are really dirty everywhere. This is like all rust, dirt rest of the debris on this side so I was just drying it, but yo, this is a day and night difference. Looking really good. I don't know if I do keep it. <clears throat> I'm planning to probably get the carpet to cover it up. I do have the back pillars for everything these right there that cover up everything. So I might just install those right now because I'm not gonna be painting anything else besides maybe you know the little rust areas, but that'll probably be it. Let me go ahead and put the rear panels. I don't know what the fuck they're called. Let me put those in. <laughs> Actually, before I throw them in, you can see there's a lot of spider webs from when this car was left abandoned. So for those of you that don't know, what happened was when I bought this vehicle, they sold it to me because they said that they just kept it in a field in Roseville and then it didn't have a sunroof and it didn't have a rear quarter glass. So a lot of the field dust and dirt and debris got inside the vehicle. That's why there's a bunch of wasp nests and spider webs and spiders because the the car was left abandoned and it was pretty much left for the bugs and all that stuff. What I'm gonna do, get the broom. You're gonna, you know, swipe, swipe, swipe the no swipe. Swipe the no swipe. swipe, 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 swipe. 